all know CRISPR, but do you know what set the foundation for this gene editing wizardry? It's called Hugo. The Human Genome Organization in 1990 set a very ambitious goal to sequence the entirety of the human genome. That is more than 300 billion bases. But did they succeed? At first, they would attach a fluorescent dye to the bases, separate the DNA by weight, and then shine a laser on them. Depending on the glow, they can identify which nitrogenous base is located where. But there was a problem with this method. It only worked on small DNA strands until the shotgun sequencing was developed. Scientists chopped DNA into small pieces, read the fragments, and stitched them back together. Here's the really interesting part. Before ever finishing this project, a private company challenged them to a race of who would finish first. The issue with this is that the private company aimed to patent parts of the human genome. They basically wanted to own a part of the human DNA so that no one else other than they could control it. This got so bad that the US and UK governments stepped in to make DNA free for everyone. And by 2003, 92% of the genome was mapped and in 2022, we finally sequenced 100%. Without this, the hyperant CRISPR would never even exist. And if you like stories like this, then subscribe for more science.